Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, July 6th, 2012. Our top story is an update from the world of energy technology. Engineers at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee have found a way to drastically reduce the cost of microbial fuel cells. As we've discussed on Brainstorm before, microbial fuel cells are pretty incredible. Certain microbes naturally produce electrons when breaking down biological molecules such as those found in wastewater. However, the most important reaction happens at the other end of the fuel cell, the microbe-free cathode. At the cathode, the electrons get absorbed by oxygen after originating from the microbes, and likely after having passed through a circuit to power something. Now this electrochemical reduction of oxygen is usually very slow, so speeding it up with a catalyst is the only way to make microbial fuel cells feasible. The good news is there's already an effective catalyst. The bad news is that catalyst is platinum, which is extremely expensive. But to finally get to the point, the team of engineers developed an alternative catalyst from nitrogen-enriched iron-carbon nanorods. They could potentially replace platinum at 5% the cost and are currently outperforming other platinum replacements like graphene catalysts. The nanorods are also fully compatible with fuel cells designed to produce hydrogen and could also have applications in other technologies where platinum is used. Still more research is needed, mainly on the exact interaction underlying these iron-carbon nanorods and how best to mass-produce them. Next, we have fascinating news from the world of genetics. A group at the University of Massachusetts have identified a unique epigenetic mechanism within animal cells. Specifically, a mechanism related to RNA interference which cells use to identify and silence foreign RNA. As you likely know, proteins are translated from messenger RNA, so cells need a way to stop viruses from hijacking their system. Many viruses produce unique double-stranded RNA at some point in their life cycle, but the identification process is even more sophisticated. RNA coming out of the nucleus is actually scanned by a protein complex, being compared to various bits of another RNA to identify if the sequence is foreign or not. This works because there are many pi RNAs that don't have complementary sequences within the negative organism's genome. When foreign genetic material is identified, a second protein stores that information epigenetically. So that memory gets inherited from generation to generation, meaning the descendants automatically knows to silence foreign RNA that their parents identified. Potentially even more important, the protein mechanism that protects an animal's own genes from being silenced was discovered. Ultimately, this is an intriguing insight into the ever-growing study of epigenetics, also with some interesting evolutionary implications, as these newly described mechanisms could also explain the uptake of foreign genetics in animals. And our final story is about the Higgs boson. Just kidding. One of the goals behind Brainstorm is highlighting discoveries and breakthroughs you might not have heard of. Right now, pretty much every science blogger is talking about the Higgs-like discovery. It's still exciting, just not something we'd cover. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description. Also feel free to contact us. We're looking for more volunteer researchers to help with Brainstorm and Biohacks.